Welcome back hunters to another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. Today we're going to be hunting two Elder Dragons, the Camellios and the recently added Mephistophelon. I think I'm pronouncing that correct, whatever. Now before we begin the hunt, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be starting something different with the Monster Hunter Online series. I'm going to be starting to remove the episode numbers as you probably noticed at the beginning of this one because Monster Hunter really lends itself that it can pretty much be open-ended and anyone can come in at any time to start watching any of the hunts that I've recorded in the past so I'm gonna go in and remove the episodes from the titles of the YouTube videos that's just a small change that you're gonna start seeing at the beginning of every episode going forward also big thanks to you guys I know you didn't see any new episodes for the last two weeks I've been dealing with a lot of personal stuff I was sick and also had to deal with a lot of things that were going on around me so um, things should get back to normal now I'll start doing again one Monster Hunter online episode every week and hopefully I'll start showing you some more and more new things and I almost have enough materials to make the Azurathlos armor. I almost have a longsword ready as well, so look forward to that in the next episode. Alright, let's get hunting. Alright, so we are going to be hunting the Camelos in the story mode. Uh, actually, all the hunts that we're going to be doing today are in the story mode. As you can see right now, I'm just wearing a temporary costume. Hope you guys don't mind the Sherlock Holmes-esque look. I'm almost at the end of the main story arc of quests and hopefully we'll start seeing some of the new monsters that they've been added into the HR Elites. And there is the Camellios. Now, I'm just marking the Camellios here because he has a very annoying habit of going invisible if you've ever played any of the previous Monster Hunter games where he's been included. Recently, I believe they added him back into Monster Hunter for you, and I don't know if he's in Generations. I haven't gone that far yet in that game. P.S. guys, Generations is amazing. I really wish I had enough money to afford a 3DS and capture card, but for now, we're just gonna have to deal with Monster Hunter Online videos on the channel for the time being. It looks like they kept the same music from Camellus as well, which is really awesome. Oh, good. Just throw me into the... Throw me into the poison pits. I really don't recall a lot of the things that Camellius can do. Yeah, there he goes, good turning invisible now. The good news is, from the looks of it, <laughs> and it's kind of cheap in a way, but the NPCs that are helping me fight in this hunt, they know exactly where he is even though he goes invisible, so it, it does take away some of the challenge. Wow, he stole something else from me. I'm not sure what it was, but uh, should probably heal! Wow, that that is, uh, he is, he is doing a lot of damage. Even just for story mode. Go after his juicy fat tail. Hey, as long as I can still see the blood splatter, then I know I'm hitting him. Which I am not. Now, I lost my train of thought a while back there. I was just trying to say, if you guys can let me know if he is an Elder Dragon, just leave me a comment below. I forget if he is classified as one, or if he's just uh, a random mob. Uh oh, I'm getting hit by everything. So, as you can see, that green pool that he just hit me with, it looks like it causes a, de a decrease in defense debuff. It only lasts for a minute, but we gotta be careful not to get too injured during this time. Wow. I, I'm still at white sharpness, however, I am bouncing off his body despite that. I will say Camellius is one of my favorite design monsters, though I'm not a big fan of fighting him. I think he- you know why I think I like him so much? And uh, it's because he really just looks unique on his own. There isn't another monster, and I forget if there's any variants of him, I'm pretty sure there might have been. He doesn't really follow the trend of other monsters. Plus, he has his own unique moveset, and the fact that he can go invisible. Oh, wow! <laughs> he appeared out of nowhere. Again, for a story mode monster, he is taking a lot of damage and not, uh, not really letting up now. I, ha I haven't seen if I've staggered him much, if any. Huh. 
He looks so cool in HD. Oh, he stole another one of my Mega Potions. I think, I think he's limping because, yeah, he's invisible right now and he's making a weird pitiful sound at the moment. So I'm going to make the assumption that he is almost dead. Now, one of my viewers recommended or suggested that I should record the cinematic after I finish defeating Camellio. So we'll see what that cinematic is. I'll just leave the shadow play recording at that time. And there is the Camellia, the Speak of the Devil! <laughs> so I guess we're gonna see a cutscene. Wow, he is a goofy looking monster. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to break off much. I think I might have broken his wings, but he still has that horn on his head and his fat tail. I, I don't think I can sever that. I think you might just be able to shatter it if I'm not mistaken. I have to fight Camellius more, and with other weapons, and probably with other people to see what kind of things I can actually break off this guy. Traveling back to the city with my spoils. Detective Helix to the rescue! And look how happy I am! And kind of cr- that, that, uh, what? Where are the people that are waving? There's, there's, there's a whole lack of things showing up in front of me. All right, we're we're wheeling back. The Camellio says uh, tail bit chunk. Uh, okay, so that was the cutscene. <laughs> I guess it glitched out a little bit, but that's okay. And now for the main event, I'm gonna finally showcase Mephisto Felon, and I'm curious how he's gonna fight. I, I know that he has the property to change his element, so he can go from fire to ice to dragon and lightning, I'm assuming. <laughs> and he looks a lot like Fatalis if you've ever played any of the other Monster Hunter games. Clearly the same skin, but more, uh, I guess, rotted looking? <laughs> no wings? Alright, wish me luck guys, I've never fought him yet. Looks like we're battling him on an arena. And again, I'm not sure how this is going to... Oh! I'm not sure how easy this is going to be because of the fact that it is the story mode. I will definitely be fighting him again in the challenge elite. But what is he doing? Okay, so I can't block that! And he has changed his element uh, by that color. I'm gonna assume he's dragon element at the moment. Whoa! His tail has range. Let's try to inflict as much damage as possible. Oh, I shouldn't have been attacking there. I even saw him setting that up and I foolishly attacked him. Wow, the music for this fight is awesome. So, he looks like he can explode his body, I guess, make a, create a shockwave from ground and air. Wow, he is big. He is a big monster. I'm try to land my wyvern's fire. Oh, nice. Managed to flinch him a moment there. Wow, he is just exploding left, right, center. Oh, gotta be careful. His tail manages to hit. If, if it's anything like Fatalis, even when he's running towards you and that tail swipe is moving around the place, it will still hit you. Black lightning. <laughs> yeah, definitely looks like Dragon Element. Oh, managed to break the front piece where... Well, it looks like where he changes his, uh, properties. Oh! I'm just gonna keep attacking him close range.
Wow, I really, really love the look of him. He is menacing. See how that tail swipes there. Oh, oh, oh. If you notice a tail moves during his dash attacks. Uh oh, what is he doing? Okay. Uh, that's one thing you gotta look out for. Uh, that volcano in the background. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I keep getting taken by surprise. Woo! Oh man, it's to flinch him again. I know, I know. Don't use the full burst. I know. Sometimes I just want to finish off that combo. It's a bad habit of mine. I love how the volcano has erupted in the background and you just see it sending pieces crashing to the ground. Oh man, I still land the double wyvern's fire, but he did. He's not changing his element. It looks like he's just staying in dragon element. Dragon lightning sparks flying all over the map. I don't even know what to call them. <laughs> Oof. Come on, Mephisto. Stay in one spot. Stop flying around the map. He's taking flight again. Come on, come on. Oh, what's he gonna do? Ah. I keep forgetting if that's the only tell or only attack that he does where he kind of charges back. Oh no, he's gonna do it again, I think. Okay, so that was a lot easier. Than <laughs> that was a little bit disappointingly easy, so we're definitely gonna have to redo Mephistophelin again. I just really wanted to showcase him to you guys. But yeah, that's Mephisto. Hope you enjoyed that fight, though. Alright, so that wraps up another episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that hunt, or the hunts, I should say. Next week, we're going to be trying to see what else is in store after the story arc. I know they recently patched in Rajang, finally, and I think there is a cinematic, too, that comes along with it. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that, and I'll also be trying out the Longsword at high rank, and with, hopefully, the Azure Rathalos armor, since I only need one one measly piece again. I've, I've hunted him maybe like 20 times already and I still don't have all the pieces. It's such a grind compared to Monster Hunter Generations. I wish you all happy hunting and I'll see you all on the next level.